feel something great in my body. We have beautiful languages. Can you make a step? Maybe greet two people. Stand up and place a smile on their face. Just greet them. Say again, I bless you. And welcome to the service of today. Yeah, bless them, bless them in the name of God. Hey, greet them, greet them, greet them, greet them. Say them, I bless you in the name of God. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Shama, shama. Wow. Beautiful. These are the chairs supposed to do. You can't just enter the service of God without greeting someone. If you are happy to be in the presence of God, clap again your hand again for Jesus. You are not clapping enough. Can you clap properly? 45 minutes only, then we're going to pray. Believe in me. We want to engage the heavens. I mean, to influence the heavens. Because most of the time I've teach about speaking to the, to the earth. But we have forgotten one of the most important part in human destiny visibility, heavens. Why are we trying to engage heavens? Because whatever is part of creation, it means it has got an important role. I want to get this on. Anything that is part of creation, it means it has a mandate, a duty over a human being. Give me the same sound. Give me that same sound. Because I want to get it very right. Because anything that God creates, I want you to capture again. Remember when you read Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, the scripture begins by saying that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So God cannot create something that have got no purpose or that have got no role into human domain. So anything that is part of creation, it means it has a role to achieve. It has a provision to offer to human being. Because God is, does not make a mistake. He never creates something that has got no meaning. So as long as it's part of creation and we are also part of creation, it means it has an important part that can play in our life. Now, there are a few reasons why today and this morning we want to engage. Because remember we are talking about how to engage the heaven and the benefit is a very long topic. But at least today I want to talk about the few prophetic reasons why should we engage heaven? Why should we engage heaven? Listen, Ezra chapter 8, verse 22. The people, they understand the reason why they need to engage heaven. That's the reason number one. Why do we need to engage heaven this morning? Because if heaven is not involved, if the earth is not involved, there will be abnormality. There will be what you call, in, will not be complete. A man will never be complete. Life will never be complete. Destiny will never be complete. For destiny to be complete and fulfilled, these two domains are crucial and important. A man or a human being must know how to engage them, to involve them, to influence them. Those who are very successful in life, they knew how to collaborate with these two things, the heavens and the earth. You neglect the heavens, you neglect your own success. You neglect the earth, you neglect your own success. So in order for you to be fully, very successful and achieving your dream, you must know how can I activate or get involved in these two domains. Listen first to reason number one. Before I give you a few reasons. Ezra chapter 8 verse 22. These are the people that know why the row of heaven. Hmm. This is very provoking. This is Ezra saying the reason why he took that route. The reason why he got involved. Why he influenced heaven. Why he pleaded to heaven for the intervention. Why he wanted heaven to step in in their crisis in that particular time. Why he wanted heaven to do something that can bring glory to God who is the owner of the heavens and the earth. Listen to what he said. 
This is in the midst of challenge. They're in the midst of battle. Then they're in the midst of confusion. The enemy is coming on their way to attack them. But now listen the route which Ezra took. The people, they knew the power when you know how to engage the heavens. Listen to what he said. I was number one ashamed. I was, I was feeling embarrassed. I could not have the courage enough again to go back to the king. Why was he not again having that courage to go back to the king? Like some of us, the way we do. Don't let me tell you something. Your confession to the people, your faith to the people, which you always demonstrate, you may forget about it, but people, they may never forget about it. Anytime you say, me, I'm a child of God. I'm a very prayerful woman. I'm a woman of power. People, they maintain and they register that in their heart. So now, when the trouble comes, how do you react it? Or do you forget that statement? Or do you still maintain that same statement? That can find even one day, the friend of Job, they were trying to remind Job, you were a, an eye to other people. You were a source of encouragement to other people. How come when it's coming, your turn, now you're collapsing? Listen to what Ezra said. When we are in the midst of challenge, I was number one ashamed to go back to the king again. To say, king, we need the help from you. Why was he afraid? Because of the initial statement. Because when we started the journey to our land, when we started a journey into our destiny, the king wanted to provide us with the soldiers for protection along the way. But I said to the king, we don't need your assistance. We don't need your soldiers. We don't need some people to take us along into our destiny. I've come to announce to somebody here. You don't need anybody to assist in your destiny. There is somebody in heaven who has the capacity to make your destiny come to pass. If you give me a better man, may God get involved in your life. Sometimes we search for the wrong direction because people also they've got limited power on how to assist us in destiny visibility. I said to the king, we don't need the help from you. We don't need soldiers from you to protect us from our enemies on the road to our destiny. Why? Because we had told the king that the gracious hand of our God, the mighty hand of God upon our life, is able is capable to deliver us from whatever shall come along our journey now we are in the midst of battle should we go back and reverse our statement should we go back and change our confession taking our maybe to i did not know what i was trying to say i was maybe mistaken on what i was trying to say i erred in my confession let me tell you what we pronounced last sunday we do not make a mistake in our confession. One thing I want to assure you, every word you have pronounced, the faith you have demonstrated upon God, it is not in vain. You shall see the hand of God. You shall see the work of God. You shall see the power of God in your life. If you believe second, hallelujah. I was afraid and ashamed to go back and could go back to King to start Kutampo Kupapa Tirafuti. Because I was the one who said to the king, I don't need your protection. So because of that, now there was only one help. It's us now to depend on the rescue of heaven. That's how now we get involved in activating heaven. Because we understand if heaven can never step in our matter, we are finished. I've come to announce to somebody, heaven shall never remain quiet. I see God get involved in your matter. I see God get involved in our situation. I see God get involved in our problem. If you believe, stand up a second. I'm ready for heaven. There are some things, my daughter, if heaven does not step in, we are finished. Have a set up against you. The time we are in, if God does not step in, we are done. Because there's even at a level where people they can come to a rescue. And there's a level where people they can never come to your rescue. Everybody thinks I've already troubled them. But don't forget that people they've got the way they regard you. 
You have said that I'm a power, woman of power, woman of prayer. Now you are in trouble. Are you going back to the same people that have demonstrated that you are a powerful woman? You are a powerful person of prayer? I was ashamed to go back and begin to plead. Now, Papa Tanja Fueniko, let me tell you, today we shall cry to heaven. Today we shall present heaven our matter. Today we shall say to God, on our own we cannot make it. On our own we can fail. On our own we can never succeed. On our own we can never win this battle. But we know together with you, we can win every battle. Together with you, we can conquer every challenge. If I'm talking to somebody who's got a problem, stand up and say, Lord, I'm ready for you. Say, Lord, stand up, step out in my situation. Have a seat, I bless you. What are you facing in your journey toward your destiny? Sometimes it's so embarrassing to see believers going to the people they don't pray, begging for them. Do you know the kind of shame you are placing on your God? This morning our eyes shall be on heaven. I said, this morning our focus shall be in heaven. We say, God, if you cannot deliver us, our enemy shall mock us. If you cannot come in my situation, people, they shall laugh at me. Those who they are waiting for, done for, they shall be surprised. You know why? Because heaven shall be activated today. We shall call upon the name of the Lord. And the Lord shall step in our situation. Those are waiting for you to suffer. They shall be surprised. Those are waiting for you to beg them. They shall be surprised. Today, our voice shall go to heaven. Our voice shall go to God. Some are saying, I was ashamed. I was feeling embarrassed. Should I go back to the man who does not know God? Should I go to the people that they don't worship God, begging them for joy? Where is our God? We have already made a confession. We have already made a statement. We can't retrieve it. So the only things, it was the reason why Ezra encouraged everybody. So let us engage all of us into prayer and fasting. The reason why you are silent because you don't know that the only way you can activate heaven is by the word of prayer. Uh -uh. Anybody want heaven to come to their rescue, they need to know how to pray. Look, the people are calling Moana. The people go, Andres, gotcha. this person does not go to church. You are not even ashamed of yourself. Every night in the house, your sister, your sibling, they will hear you. Raka, kaka, kaka, roko, koko. Then tomorrow, Mona, we're going to ten kwacha. Such an embarrassment is coming to an end. I said, such embarrassment is coming to an end. Such humiliation is coming to an end. I see a new season coming upon your life. I see new door be open upon your life. I see heaven coming in your situation. Somebody say, hey! For how long will keep on begging people that don't believe in God? That's why it's important for heaven to intervene in order to eradicate shame in our life. People are waiting to see us falling down. They are waiting for you to come and beg them. But they wait, they wait longer. I said they wait, they wait longer. I see a new door upon your life. I can see heaven be open. I can see heaven be open. I can see the job coming upon your life. I see appointment coming upon your life. I see promotion coming upon your life. If you give me a better man, may heaven be open upon your life. Somebody say, hey. Do you know why he engaged heaven? Sit I give you something. Do you know why he engaged heaven? Number one reason why Ezra engaged heaven because he understood one thing heaven is a custodian of the force Amen. Amen. that determines time, Amen. that determines ages, that determines days, 
and that the demand is. The one who's in charge of the things that the demand time. <laughs> what I'm about to mention something here. Let me tell you, when you understand what is involved in heaven, you know, shut your mouth. Amen. If you want time or days to speak in your favor, collaborate with the owner who determines, who carries, who is a custodian of the forces that actually determines time, days, hours, and ages. I'm saying, how, how would you say that heaven is a custodian? Of the, of the forces, maybe the things that the demands time, <laughs> that the demand days. You know, when you collaborate with heaven, since it's a custodian of the force that determines time, days, season, and ages, heaven can influence even the time to stand still in your favor. Time can, uh, 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 time can come to stand still until you find a solution come can come to stand still until you find a solution listen what the scripture say genesis chapter 1 verse 14 understand that don't when you don't engage heaven automatically you're operating in con in confusion of time nobody can function in normality of time in a co a exclusion of heaven that's when every time heaven is open it legalizes you in your time it legalizes you in your season this is season for somebody here. Ni season yanga ine. Ni ni palafi ya nyu. Ni zaenda pasogoro. Somebody said ni season yanga ine. But heaven is a custodian of the force that can legalize your season. Even though you are out of season, when you are cooperating with the custodian of time, it can speed up this time in order for you to be in your season. I'm seeing somebody finding yourself in your season. Heaven shall be open today. You shall catch up with time. Somebody say yes. Give me Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. I mentioned something. I was ashamed because I'd already said to the king, with your help or no your help, our God is able. Is capable. He has never failed. Because I know that when I activate heaven, heaven carry horses. Heaven carry host. Heaven carry power. <laughs> give me, give me, understand what I said. Today, if the time was behind you, heaven shall speed up the time. It shall come, it shall fall in your favor. If again time was ahead of you, heaven shall bring it backward. You shall catch up with that time. If you believe, receive it in the name of Jesus. Listen what the scriptures say. The Lord God said, let there be light in the expansion of the sky, in the heaven, to separate from day, if day to from night. And let them save those who have established them in heaven. Let them save as a sign. To do what, number one? As a sign, number one, to do what? To mark season. Oh, as heaven shall be open today, there shall be a written in the heaven uh, that is a season for somebody. It shall be written in heaven uh, that is a time for somebody. I don't know whom I'm talking to. Your season has come. Heaven shall be open today. Your season has come. Heaven shall be open today. Your season has come. Somebody say glory. Number one, they shall do what? They shall serve as a sign. If it's the time of season, you will look unto heaven. It's the one who determines season. There is no season in exclusion of heaven. The determining factor of season is heaven. That's number one. Who's keeping those forces? Heaven. Where are they stop being established in heaven? Oh. <laughs> I can see the voice to say this season younger. I can hear the voice. He said we are entering a new life. I can hear the voice. He said we are penetrating our new season. No more dry season. No more humiliation. No more frustration. No more pain in your life. Somebody say. Oh, give me 
nipige give again my daughter number one to save as a sign to mark season and days and years now when you are engaging heaven you are collaborating with the custodian of days you know days have got voice you know days can speak in your favor when the days is speaking in your favor the nature i've got no choice but to respond in your favor i've got to announce to you this sunday i can hear the days is talking uh, that somebody after this service uh, you shall receive a call a call for a miracle you shall receive a call a call for appointment uh, you shall receive a call a call for business uh, if you are the one uh, stand up and say i am ready Listen again, I mentioned something. That's why I understand Job say. Because when you are dealing with the things of the spirit, they begin to speak. Amen. Amen. I can hear say, Lelo, Anyone who trouble your life shall be in trouble. Anyone who is waiting for you to die shall be in trouble. The days is talking eh, to say they shall no longer defeat you again. They shall no longer frustrate you again. They shall no longer pull you down again. Somebody say. Yeah. 